So here's what happens. Let me explain the gospel to you. Let me explain to you why a bunch of people come to church on a Saturday night and sing and lift their hands and clap and scream out and you're dunking people in water. This is a weird scene. We sang song, there's candles lit. I'm speaking out of a, a, a book that's very old. This is all very weird. Let me try to explain to you where this all comes from. Where it comes from is not that I've cleaned myself up, that you've cleaned yourself up so that now God accepts and likes us. What's happened is that we were revilers, drunkards, liars, adulterers, idolaters, pagan as they come. And in the middle of all of it, the Holy Spirit of God, by the predetermined weird will of God, whispered into the deep parts of our soul. I love you. What? Me? Not me because I'm in the middle of homosexual relationships. You can't love me. Me? I'm a drunk. How can you love me? Me, I'm a reviler. Me, I'm a liar. Me, I'm a religious bigot. How can you love me? In that moment, all of a sudden, in that moment where he loves us right in that place, then all of a sudden we go, I will chase you and pursue you and love you for the rest of my life with every breath, with every cell in my body. I'll pursue you from this moment on. And so we walk in here and celebrate the fact not that we're clean, but while we weren't, he loved us. And we're all this one church, this one thing, celebrating the same thing that while we were sinners, Christ died for us. That's why we love the cross so much. Because if you grasp the cross, you got it. If you grasp the cross of Jesus, you got it. Now, hear me, this flies in the face of religion. Religious people, they're like referees. They don't. They don't score any points, they don't sweat, they don't play, they know nothing of the highs and lows of the game. They just run around blowing their whistle. And when they retire, no one cares. No one cares. They take their whistle and they leave and no one cares. The only problem with it is there's always a number. Okay. Like it's coming. Do you get this? I mean, you get that 2,000 years ago, in fact, farther back than that, he told Abram, this is how it's going down. And it has stayed true to the line right up till now where a massive portion of Africa has become believers. A massive portion of China have become believers. South America blowing up with the gospel. That the gospel is penetrating the world. You know how this ends? With you and me in front of him with the kingdom of God, new heaven, new earth, coming down, no more injustice, no more pain, no more sorrow. God's redeemed, God's elect, God's kingdom, kingdom of God, established. Now, do you think anybody's gonna give a trash? How much money you have right now, how much comfort you have right now, who's cool and who's not, who drove what and who didn't, who was well-liked in the neighborhood and who wasn't, do you think any of that's gonna matter? No one will care. 